Greetings to all of my friends that are listening to this broadcast today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to say to you today, I am preaching to people all over the world in several different countries, many of them requesting to me that I do some teaching for them, and I'm doing my best to try to share the news with them. So all of my friends in Africa, Uganda, all across uh, Kenya, and other people in Peru and different places are, that have texted me and, and said they wanted more teaching, and I'm going to try to do my best to do some teaching. And the, the chapter that I have chosen today is John chapter 1. If you're a new Christian and you're just starting out for the Lord, I can't think of a better place to start learning the Bible and the Word of God than starting in John chapter 1, because it's very descriptive and I think it gives you a clear understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says in the very first verse, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It talks about the Word as the Logos, that's that living Word. That's that living Word that blesses everybody in the country and in all the world. And you know, Jesus Christ has an uh, and God, they, they evolved. They've never been created. So when it talks about in the beginning, it talks about in the beginning of life that we know it as Adam and Eve and as we have proceeded on that. And it tells us that the Word, which is described uh, as an aspect of God Almighty, Jesus Christ, we've got God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It tells us that Jesus Christ was very much with God in the beginning. In verse, eight, in verse 2, same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him, not anything was made that was made. And that is very true, my friends, today. Everything that we say today is made by God Almighty. If Your very life is by God. We're here today not by accident. We're here because God loves us and because He's interested in us. And in him was life, verse 4, and life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, verse number 5, but the, but the uh, darkness comprehended it not. It did not understand what the light was when it first showed up. And then it goes on to talk about another man by the name of John the Baptist. There was a man sent from God whose name was John, and that's speaking of John the Baptist, the same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, and all men through him might believe. It goes on to say in the next verse, he was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that life. And John the Baptist came into this world, he was a forerunner of Jesus Christ, and he paved the way for Christ himself. There was this man sent from God, whose name was John. And it goes on to say that that light that he talks about, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world, the light of God hath shone into your hearts and lives, and it's very realistic light. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Verse 11, And he came to his own, and his own received him not, talking about Jesus. But as many as received him, he gave him the power to become the sons of God, even to them which was born in his name, believe in his name, rather, which were born not of blood, nor the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. And then a very important verse comes up next, and the word, Jesus Christ, was made flesh. He came to this world, and he dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. And we have beheld his glory as the only begotten the Father, full of grace and truth. The Word of God is the Logos, the living bread. Several times in the, book of Don, in the book of John, it says several things about I am. And John seemed to want to specific tell us that Jesus said, I am the bread of life in John chapter 6. He wanted to say, I am the light of the world in John chapter 8 and verse 12. Then he wanted to say in John chapter 10, I am the door. And then he said, I am the good shepherd in John chapter 10. Then he says, I'm the resurrection and life in John 11 and 25. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life in John chapter 14 and verse number 6. And then he goes on to say the last one, the seven I am's uh, in the book of John. I am the true vine, John chapter 15. 
Folks, I want to tell you, Jesus is everything to us. He gave his life on Calvary. He get paid the price for your salvation. Would you receive him today and ask him to come into your heart? And I thank God for he is a great creator of this world. He's made me today. He's made you today. We owe him a great deal of praise. This is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you so much for tuning into this broadcast. I'll talk to you real soon. And hello to all my friends in Uganda and across uh, Gambia and all of the people that listen to me there. May God bless you and be with you in Jesus' name.